Hello, my name is Tim Tan, Associate Producer for Lineage 2 North America. I'm here to talk about Goddard, one of the new land areas in Chronicle 4. The Goddard region is the largest of the new areas created for this update. Here's the Ketra Orc Outpost, one of the two warring factions that you will be introduced to. By completing quests for them and killing their enemies, you will gain faction in favor. After completing enough tasks, you will gain recognition and be granted access to their warehouse and unique stores. Their bitter enemies, the Varka Selenos, defend themselves from this outpost to the southwest. Instead of fighting for the Ketra Orcs, you can choose to ally yourself with the Selenos by completing their special quests and attacking the Ketra. Befriending them also grants you unique and special privileges. A major new addition to Chronicle 4 includes Esgrade armor and weapons, such as the draconic leather worn by these player character orcs. Wearable at level 75, this new equipment reaches epic levels of power and introduces stunning new item textures into the game. In this next sequence, Esprit Imperial Heavy Armor is equipped. Like all Esprit equipment, Imperial Heavy provides statistical bonuses when the entire set is worn, benefiting you to acquire every piece. In addition to armor, Esprit weapons are also available and can be upgraded with new enhancements, such as increase to attack speed, casting speed, or critical chance, just to name a few. The entrance to the Imperial Tomb is located in the Eastern Goddard region, behind the Wall of Argos. This new type of dungeon introduces an innovative method of monster spawning and hunting. The dungeon is filled with rooms that can only be accessed by one party at a time. The rooms are sealed as soon as the party enters. Other areas of note in the Goddard region include Goddard Castle and Town, the Hot Springs, Forge of the Gods, and the Lair of Velaka. Goddard Castle introduces the seventh contestable castle where players can vie for control of the region. The hot springs are home to many diseased monsters as well as magical pools that provide the only cure, as well as other mysterious effects. The Forge of the Gods is a hunting area filled with inhospitable fire and lava, along with monsters that possess powerful fire attacks. This area leads directly to the lair of the fire dragon Velakis. So far, the strongest monster to be added to the world yet. Multiple clans and alliances will be required to take down this fiery beast. I hope you've enjoyed this quick run through one of the new features of the Chronicle 4 update, and I encourage you to come check it out in game sometime soon.